Right, so I'm April 25th. I play games and then I talk about it. Today I'm playing Fortress Craft Evolved in another episode of my 2018 Explain Along. Episode 22 already. Uh, thanks for joining me again. While I was out, I let the game run a bit, not too long. Um, some of these have started to get themselves nice and backed up. Uh, we got nice big piles of random stuff in the mass storage. Right there's 96 titanium housing and five charged lithium coils. Um, this will continue filling up throughout the episode, that's fine. I've also got a few things making um, that I'm going to need today. I am sure I'm out of iron gears. Oh yeah, I'm very out of, I'm out of copper wire too. Let me go help things along a bit by running things over like I am a little minecart myself. Um, plenty of minecarts. I made like a hundred minecarts, literally. Um, because I was starting to run out, and whenever you run out of minecarts, the whole system just goes downhill. Whatever that one material you need, oh yeah, we're out of copper wire. Uh, whatever the one material you need in order to make minecarts, that's the one that just random numbers does not get assigned a minecart before you're completely out and everything goes downhill. So let me assign three minecarts to this one. And I also gave it a whole bunch to get it started. Um, we got plenty of iron gears. Wow, this is full. Um, I'll steal them. And I'm gonna go... Number one... Where's my iron gear? There they are. Okay. And I'm just gonna go drop these in over here to help things along. Where is... Yeah, here we come. Right now, oh, I've got 256 iron gears. Um, I guess they're just waiting on these slow inputs. I'm already looking forward to upgrading <laughs> everything here. I'm also looking forward to upgrading my minecart soon. I, I, I have so many minecarts running around just carrying five components at a time. The, the difference when I finally get to start upgrading minecarts is just striking. Um, so, the reason I am making things is I'm planning to go downstairs and drop my line for power lower, drop my Falcor matter mover network for cutter heads lower, and go find the toxic cavern. So, that'll be pretty thrilling. Let's make sure I have the bare minimum. I got two lifts that I would like two more. <laughs> um, I am fine on that. I probably need lasers. I got six of these. Four of these. So I'll need a couple more of the, the level one lasers, but I'm good, I think, on Mark II. Um, I got plenty of guns. I am going to need more transport pipes once I get down there and actually find my mining. Okay, one of these is done. I, I was making a lift compressor because I knew I would need that. Let me make oh, no, no. two of these <laughs> while I'm gone. The other big thing I'm making here is more... <coughs> mass storage manufacturing ports because I only got three of these running and I wanted six. So as soon as they finish finding themselves some, what is it, copper wires, uh, that'll be done. I might as well go and get started because I know I'm going to have to do research. So yeah, I talk big about how I'm going to go down there and just find some biofuel, right? I'm going to head to the toxic cavern, find some biofuel. But, of course, it's not going to be nearly that straightforward. Um, as I go lower, below nickel, uh, where I have my nickel set up, I might as well grab... Uh, <laughs> I might as well grab construction paste on the way. Everybody saw that coming, right? Uh, construction paste. I feel like this should be running out. The coal should be running out, but it's really not. It's got a lot to go. 
I guess it must extend far into the ground. Anyway, back downstairs, back to where I have my nickel happily being mined. I have that level there that actually I think is nickel, titanium, and gold. Um, if I go a bit lower from there, I'm going to find toxic stone. And I want to find toxic stone because I'm pretty sure I still have to do a research project to learn about that and I definitely have to create myself a toxic filter for my suit so that the toxicness of whatever's going on down there doesn't kill me. Yeah, maybe I should set up those teleports. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. I, I have plenty of power down here, mostly because I'm not really using anything, any of my bars at capacity. Um, I need to go work on that. So, okay, I'm at negative 470. I'm gonna go ahead and... So the thing is, I haven't drug, di drug dug down any further than where I currently am at. So if I drop down just one in order to uh, extend the, whatever this is called, uh, my power setup, that's not gonna make it very easy to get back up. I'm gonna have to try to guesstimate where I want my lift and all that. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna dig both. Um, I'm already at 470. How close am I to unknown? Because that unknown should be my toxic. Um, probably got like 30 more to go, I guess. It's, it's really hard for me to estimate. So I'm going to start dig by digging down this one. Where was I at, anyway? Okay, 470, I want to go for at max about 60, so if I hit 530, I, I, I'm I sure I'm going to be done before I hit 530. Uh, at least for finding the toxic stone to go back up and research something. There we go. Uh -huh, there's the deep stone. I was wondering where that was. I knew at some point it had to, right? Why is my health- oh, I am in the toxic caverns. Weird. Well, that's what happens if you go in the toxic caverns, by the way. Your life starts uh, dropping pretty suddenly. I didn't get any toxic stone, though. I don't know if I'm going to be able to research a filter. Let me use help, maybe. So contextual help. Ah, uh, there's no way to search it. I always forget that. Uh, research? Yeah, none of my current options are anything to do with toxic. Let's try reference for suit upgrades. I'm going for the... There's only one page. Build guns, raise... None of you are a filter. Arthur? Decoration? Agriculture? Okay, you know what? Let's just go up top. <laughs> um, or I could stand up here and just dig. Uh, yeah, that did not help with being able to see. I'm just digging a really deep hole. There we go, we got an unblown block. Now, hopefully I should have so many things going on once I research that. So I'm gonna go up. That, that was weird. I've never, it, I've never had it happen like that before where I'm dying of toxic caverns before I actually reach toxic stone. I wonder if that was just random number generator, or if that's kind of a change in how things work, I don't know. I'm glad 
time that I noticed I was getting hurt, uh, usually how that goes for me is I don't notice. I fall over dead. I'm like, huh, what happened? So, <laughs> I'm getting better at, <laughs> at noticing when I'm dying. That's good for me. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Oh, and I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I did close off my room. Though, you know what? I don't think I put down a controller. That would help. If I don't put down the controller, there's really no point to the room. It doesn't do anything. There we go. Now we have a room. And hopefully that'll be isolating out all that. And it, you know, speeds things up a little bit. I'm sure that <laughs> when you see all these minecarts, the idea of me doing things to save myself a little processing is kind of hilarious. Because have you noticed all the minecarts? Okay. I've researched the toxic stone. I don't see anything there. Do I have recipe? Yes, I do. Toxic particle filter. I wonder... I'm sure it's going to take a lot of components that I am no longer carrying around in my inventory, so let me go over here. I got two lifts, one more Falcor beacon. What I really need is to see if this will make me a toxic particle filter. Um, I just need one of them. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. It's all stuff I have, but it's going to take a minute for it to gather it. I have one basic matter mover that should be making me a couple more. Uh, I'm going to want to drop that lower. What else what am I going to need? I had just talked to myself at length about what all I needed in order to get things done down there. But I think that uh, this is it. <laughs> Do I have Falcor? Ooh. I have two logistics Falcors, but I only need one for today. So we're going to go with it. Hmm. I can't move. Oh, lag. The lag in this game is weird because everything, I don't know, operates separately, hopefully. I mean, that's kind of a good thing. Uh, but it's kind of weird because you don't, like, you know, your minecarts are just still happily tr trundling along. It's just you that can't move. I do not need eight of these anymore. Let's keep it at four. Um, you guys seem kind of bored. Let's make sure I have titanium housing made over here. Oh, I'll up it by one. It's got four. Two, I'll up it by one. Up that by one. What is this making? I don't know. So I'll up it by three. Iron bars. All oh, this seems pretty full. I don't really, yeah, I don't need four of those. How are we doing here? Also don't need four of those. So this is what I mean by just kind of coming through and pruning your uh, mine carts. Yeah. Adjusting how many you have assigned to each station because there's no reason for them to sit there idle. Uh, there's, oh, 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 I'm going to need that to work. <laughs> <laughs> so let me get my hardened machine blocks working right quick. Uh, freight. My freight is hardened machine block. No stock. I'm giving it away. Alright, that's helpful. Because I know that I have something over the an area over there requesting them, it probably just couldn't find me to take. So, this, how are you doing? We've gathered up some of what we need, but there's still quite a bit to go. So, on top of whatever I'm doing down there with the toxic stuff, I'm planning kind of my next step after that is I'm really going to want to do I get any of these made? Still none. These are matter movers. Oh, I'm not making any. That'll uh Okay, 
Okay, so I want to make a mass storage manufacturer. I want to make three of these. Uh, but notice that one of the materials for that is the basic mass storage output port. So I'm going to start automation here for the manufacturer. And I'm going to come over here and make sure that I'm just making the three output ports that are going to be needed. They're going to make them here. They'll get spit back into the system and dropped in there. Oh, and I forgot that I need these two, too. Um, I, I will ignore that for now. <laughs> Work on that when I get back. Okay, I got two matter members. Oh, I kind of ran off before finishing my thought. So the other thing that I want to do next, or after I've found my fuel, is I know that I have more automation. Let me check in this. Let's see. I need to set up alloyed block assemblers. That's everything I have researched. Let me go see if there's anything else up on here. Um, I should probably start a research project too. If I don't need research for my toxic caverns, I had been holding off because I didn't want to be in the middle of a different research project, but a research project sounds like a great idea because I have a lot of random stuff that I don't desperately need, but I might want at some point. Let's start this one. I'm going to have to go get 200 crystal. Some of these research projects don't call for, for the pods, um, and I, I don't worry about automating that. I just ran over and grab what I need, and then I'll come back. Um, so I need 100, 200 of those. I'll probably have to put down a big storage hopper to hold these. And then I'll be all set. Yeah, I don't exactly know where I'm gonna put that. <laughs> Maybe I'll just stick it on the side. There we go. That totally makes sense. All right, we got 200 of that, and this should be happy to get going now, right? There we go. I'm not even sure what I get out of Advanced Crystal Dynamics. I might not need it for a while, but, you know, <laughs> someday I'll need it. Might as well get it going. What else do I got in here? It's like going shopping. I should set up my spider bot soon, but we're not quite there yet. Uh, I never remember to use the headlight, and I think it kind of uses power quickly, or at least it did last time I tried it, so I usually don't do much there. I'm gonna need an advanced machine block assembler. Generator, resin pings. Probably don't need those yet. Well, obviously. I'm going to need to set up some of the batter a line for batteries. Uh, those start getting used in various places kind of soon. And they're kind of fun to automate because you, um, they use themselves as input. Like, not themselves, but like the last tier as an input. So, I could just send... Oh, excuse me. I could just send minecarts um, to fetch the end product and bring it back because I'm going to need it on the network anyway. Or I could set it up to just automatically hand over uh, the items into the next line. And then that has perks. It definitely speeds things up a little. Copper wire. You are our limiting factor here. I have a toxic particle filter though, and that was the biggest thing I was waiting on. I should also put these down. So what else did I say I was going to need? I'm definitely going to need some transport pipes. Let's call it about 50 of them? I'm going to say 50 of them. This is going to take a while.
I wanted more matter movers, but I probably have enough to finish up what I'm doing. Um, yeah, we're going to call that good enough, and we're going to head back downstairs. Let's put my particle filter in here before I forget. There we go. I am now immune to whatever toxicity is going on. And heading back downstairs. I'm going to have to make some decisions next about where I want to bring this cargo lift to the surface. <laughs> I saw a pristine eye up there, I think, and I don't want to get off the ride in order to get it. I don't even need them. I've got like a hundred of them, but it's a wasted resource. So every time that happens, I just kind of twitch. Um, yeah, I'm going to need a cargo lift bringing my biofuel to the top. I probably want to stick that kind of off on the other side of the base or something. I'm not sure. Well, I want don't want it far from the power drop, and I'm still using this power drop. So I guess I want it over here. But I want to make sure that wherever I put it, it's not going to come and punch into something that I've already got going on up top and ruin my base. Oh, yeah, that's hard to see. I kind of start being a little careful down in here, too, because, um, the Toxic Caverns is, uh, of the caverns I've seen so far, it's the most consistently high. Like, there's a, a nice big height to fall to your death when you do finally break through. turning nice and green. That's the toxic stone is basically green deep stone. I'm not sure if we're at deep stone. Yeah, we're, we're still in deep stone, but soon it'll be the toxic whatever. There we go. Toxic cavern stone. We are officially handling toxic stone just kind of filling up my inventory. And the funny thing is, is I like, I think this block is kind of the coolest looking. Um, I suppose I could just do deep stone and then paint it, but it's also toxic, so that doesn't seem like a very soothing thing to put around your face, right? You're, I don't know, it's like decorating with bears and rattlesnakes. Which is something I've seen. I grew up in Arizona, and I knew somebody who just, I guess they were into taxidermy. And you'd walk down the hall and turn this corner and there'd be just giant bear that was a real bear that was taxidermied. And, like, how do you deal with that? How do you wake up in the middle of the night and really want a glass of water, so you trundle off to get a glass of water and you just pass the giant bear in the dark hallway? Um, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, there's always magazine articles about, you know, separate your living, your, your sleeping space and your workspace so you can get proper rest. And it's like, well, what about having real giant bears in your house? Is that restful? I also got some really good, um, rattlesnake stories, if anyone ever wants them. Um, I was... I, I visited Japan, uh, Tokyo, at least, a couple years ago. Well, more than a couple, probably like 2012. And I was incredibly amused to realize that basically Arizona is kind of like, um, or was, kind of a bit of a fad. Uh, just like something that uh, a lot of Japanese people, like there were a lot of shops that were using it as a theme and stuff like that. So jewelry and housewares and all that. And it was so amusing to me because so much of it was like 
stuff from my childhood in Arizona with just a bit of a twist. Um, you know, just enough that I, like, if I saw it in Arizona, I'd be kind of like, huh, this is weird. Because it was just enough different. Um, but also, so the same. Uh, and yet, you know, high fashion. Instead of just, you know, stuff. Oh. <laughs> Apparently, in that very last one, I found the cavern. Okay. Let's put in my lift. Oh. Um, I didn't mean to leave. Come back. Ow. Okay. Let's go back down there. So, next is kind of the hard part. How am I going to get through the toxic cavern without dying horribly? Or actually, I might have biofuel up top. When I do, that really helps. Um, there's some unknown ore over... Over there, over there. Yeah, let's see if we can reach this. If I can reach this, that might be ideal. Because, um, that looked like the nice really deep area of the caverns. Yeah, we'll get a better look here. Uh, yeah. The problem here is, like in the cold caverns, my grappling hook is only gonna work once. I can't really do that thing where I just jump and shoot like crazy and swing around and possibly survive. Um, doesn't work here. So mostly if I jump, I'm falling to my death. <laughs> so usually, uh, usually I have to do some like weird finagling involving construction paste and set up another lift and all that fun stuff. Uh, okay, but I don't actually have to go down there if I'm able to reach the biofuel up here. So I'll just build this way for a little while and see where that gets me. Actually, I think that's one. Okay, I go up by one. Give myself a nice little corridor where I don't realize I'm walking over my death. This is a bit of a hike. I'm definitely going to need all those transport pipes. I'm not really sure how those meters uh, translate to this because it was like 430 meters back there. It's definitely not a one-to-one -one ratio. How can it be 20 meters away and I haven't reached it yet? But I just went 400 meters. You see what I mean? Or maybe I'm actually going right over top. That would be annoying. I'll do a couple more and then I'll scan again. Luckily I have plenty of battery now and I don't have to be all stingy about scanning. Come on. No, it's, it's right here. One, two, three. I should co uncover it. Maybe not. There it is. Alright, this, ta-da, is, what is it called? Biofuel? Biomass, that's what it is. It's biomass. Um, I guess it's like solid oil. I'm not exactly sure what the thought is there. I made myself a little window. It's a good place for a va vase. Um, next I need to drop power. Because it's all very nice that I found that, but there's really nothing going on until I am mining it. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Let's take 
take this down to 530, but not any further. I really don't want to fall to my death. I'm probably going to fall to my death, aren't I? Go ahead and take bets. This is very risky. Ooh, there, here we go. I live! Yeah, that was nicely done. I love when something like this actually kind of works out. Um, we can pretend that I had that well planned and stuff when... I mean, it's pretty obvious that I didn't plan anything. Um, I suppose I don't need guns after all. I'm running low on batteries. I need to make more of those. And... I can just stick a drill here. So, I definitely need uh, cutter heads. You need cutter heads to do biofuel. But my beacon was really not that far up there. Oh, that's a big one. And it's directional. What am I doing? So I'm hoping I don't need to... Well, it's right at 60. I might need to. Let's see what happens. Plasma cutter heads. Calculating route. I hope you're able to reach it. I'll transfer over. This is remove only. This needs to be a nice big storage hopper. And I will need to decide where it's actually going. Um, but for now, I can... As long as this is able to reach its target, I can run down here and grab some a couple times uh, just to get this thing started. I don't know if it's gonna come up here for the plasma cutter head though. If it doesn't, I just need to drop another layer of this, whatever this is. <laughs> I've got a bit of a maze right here. I should probably be more consistent about how I <laughs> do these things so I don't run into this, but whatever. Sounds like work. Yeah, I have not seen a Falcor arrive. That's a bad sign. Okay, let's drop another level of matter mover. So I want the matter mover. It's gonna need power, is the thing. Why? How am I even doing this right now? So maybe. best way to do this. I want the matter mover probably just to be right here. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. You know, that's working. <laughs> We're good. I'm gonna go make sure that that wasn't just refreshing the titanium or Oh, wrong one. Well, I'm gonna take a bit of a ride up to the cold caverns. And then come back <laughs> and check that that plasma cutter head was going to the right place. I'd hate to have that have just been a refill for the titanium or something. Um, come to think of it, this doesn't do anything anymore. I should take it apart. I'm really bad about taking things apart when I'm done with them. Alright, that's all set. Back down I go. Uh-huh. Still going. I need to, um, like add elevator music. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Just, you know, to 
have that nice do to do moment. I wonder why I'm lagging so bad. I was running Photoshop earlier. I wonder if I turned it off. Oh no, let me off. The worst thing is when you are lagging and your lift gets there and you lag and you can't leave. Oh yeah, that, uh, wow. That filled up pretty quickly. Okay. I'm gonna grab a little more. Because I don't remember how much I need, if any. And I don't really want to be making this trip back down here. Okay. We got 64 unknown material. We're gonna go up top. This should keep filling up with plasma cutter heads. And that's my plan for today. That was everything. We got, uh, we discovered the toxic cavern. We found some biomass. We have our own toxic filter so we can run around in the toxic cavern now. Um, the toxic cavern, I didn't actually show you any of it. Uh, I'll probably have to go down in there as my biomass runs out and I need more. It it's a good place to find gold and nickel sometimes, so it's it's also great for that. And then obviously biomass. The biomass is usually either in the ceiling or down in the floor, uh, kind of. Well, I guess that I guess that was an obvious statement, but typically you can find some in the ceiling. So sometimes you don't even have to go down into the cavern uh, and. Well, until you're going past the cavern to head for the next tier. Uh, that is Frozen Factory, though. These are all of the major materials, like all of the ores, for the original game, once I have the fuel. Uh, there are a couple things like Sugar Light. It's a gem that you need for the quarry that is deeper. Uh, but it's just a crystal, and you can run down and grab that yourself. You don't have to wait around on anything. So I have those crystal deposits and no idea how I'm going to get them out of my inventory. Uh, very slowly I'll do it that way. Go do my research. Next uh, episode, I'm going to be figuring out where I want to bring my biomass up in order to make fuel. I like to make a lot of fuel because I'm going to need a lot of fuel for missiles. So I'm going to need another big room. Uh, maybe over... Well, this... I don't know how long this is going to get. But maybe over there somewhere. Um, I'll set up a broom. Lots of construction paste and start getting my biofuel created. Uh, I think it's called biofuel. If it's not called biofuel, I'm probably driving somebody crazy. That'll be fun. Thank you for watching. Now go do something epic.